important muscles to regularly stretch, in my opinion, are the pector, pectoral muscles, pec major, pec minor, and the hip flexor muscles. Why? Because so often I see people's posture rounded through the chest and that they're, they're tilted through the waist and they can't stand up straight. Now, why is that? So we're rounded through the chest because we've got such a tightness and tension through the pec muscles, which is pulling us around. And why is it that we're, we're, we're stiff and jammed up and hunched forward in the low back so commonly? Because we spend so much time sitting, which shortens and contracts the muscles through our hip flexor. So if you stretch both of those muscle groups really regularly, you're gonna feel much better and you're gonna really reap the rewards of doing that. So how you stretch the pec muscles. So they run, they run across from the, from the breastbone across to, across to the side around the shoulder area here and they pull us forward. So how to actually stretch the pecs? Well, what we need to do is we need to be able to bring our arm backwards like that to create a deep stretch in there. So ways that you could do that, there are a few ways. Well, one way you can do it is to get into, get against the wall or doorway and put your hand against the doorway and lean forward. So effectively, you are against the doorway, you are leaning forward and it is stretching all through here. Nice, deep stretch. Then you can alter your hand position like that or bring it down like that. What that will do is it will, it will stretch different fibers within the pectoral muscle group. And what I suggest you do is you do at least 20 to 30 seconds in each, each arm position. So if you're here and you're leaning forward and stretching, hold a deep 20 to 30 second stretch. And then when you move your arm, again, a deep 20 to 30 second stretch, really get deep into the fibers, obviously repeating the other side really effective, good to do incidentally and regularly. So not, not something where I even recommend, oh, I've got to do my stretch routine, oh, I better stretch my pecs. Just do it all the time, just do it every day. Just walk through the door in your house, put your hand up and lunge forward and get that stretch through there really regularly. Hip flexor stretches. To stretch the hip flexors, let me show you how. Great, so when it comes to stretching the hip flexors, you need to get into a position like this with one leg straight down from your torso and the other one with a, a leg and knee bent at 90 degrees. Then lunge forward, just place, keep upright through the torso, bring some of your weight forwards. So you're bringing the weight forwards, you should feel the stretch through the back leg, which is exactly the hip flexor you're stretching. Then you can slightly modify your angle you can rotate a little that way, you can ro rotate a little that way. You'll find as you do little rotational movements, you feel the fibers being stretched differ slightly, but it's all stretching the hip flexor. And it's all really beneficial for people that sit for a lot of time, most of us. These stretches you should also do for approximately 30 seconds each side, and just do them regularly, do them through the course of the day just keep doing them. Like all things with health and well-being, if we get into good habits, we follow them through, we're patient, we give things time, you ultimately reap the rewards. And this is no different. So wherever you are, have a great day. If you have any questions, please comment and I'll do my best to answer them. But stay fit, stay loose, stay agile, stay healthy. And I hope I, I, ho I, hope I can help you further in the future and I hope this has helped you today.